Hey guys, JT here with an unboxing and a look at a car I got from RC Moment. This is the WL Toys 12428. Um, I had seen a couple of videos on this car and it actually runs pretty good and it's held up pretty well. So I figured I'd go ahead and get one and give it a try. I'll leave a link in the description to if you guys want to purchase this. It actually was shipped out from uh, one of their facilities in California. So it got here in like three or four days, so that's good, and it's under $100, so um, you really can't beat that when um, it comes that quick and the cost of it and actually what you get with this. Now, I know it's probably got several different names, but the most, the name it is popular by is WL Toys, and like I said, the 12428. Um, it says uh, 50 kilometers out the box. I've seen videos where this thing does go about 30 miles per hour. So that's going to be interesting to see, and it does come with a LiPo battery pack. Now, I believe the um, version that I have is going to be this green one, and it is going to be brushed, but it does come with a LiPo battery pack as well. And I'm curious to see if those LED lights that are on there, you guys see, come with this and are functional, because that would be a uh, huge plus, or it may be an optional part, but either or, it's something that you can actually put on there. So let me go ahead and get this top off real quick. Ah, you guys know I love the smell of a new RC car. <laughs> so anyway, um, you're going to get an instruction manual with this as well. And it says climbing car. Climbing car. So I've seen uh, this being uh, passed along also as a crawler or something you can do some trail driving with. So um, I'm actually going to, when I get this thing running after I run a couple of videos, take this thing to the woods and to some back areas and, and try it out there. So... Um, you see it does come with uh, two tools in here, of course a four-way tool for the tires and wheels and some of the nuts stuff. And then this right here seems to be a small Phillips head, so I'm not sure if this is for some of the parts and stuff in there or not. But um, we'll check that out and see what that entails in there. Uh, let's see what we got up in here. This right here is going to be the radio. Let's see what this radio looks like real quick. So it is 2.4 gigahertz, which is good. Um, let me get this out this box real quick. All right, so the radio is a 2.4 gigahertz radio. Um, has a pretty decent feel in the hand, and I know it uses four double A's as well. So let's see what's up in there. Yep, four double A's. So that's good. I'm curious to see if this comes with uh, one of those two or three in one units or not. But it's got, as you guys can see there, some of your basic uh, trims and stuff like that on there. And the design's pretty interesting. I mean, it's not anything bad. It looks actually unique. And it's somewhat different from some of the other radios that I've um, received and got from them as well. But the feel is good. And everything seems to be good with that. So let's go ahead and get to the meat of this real quick. Which is going to be the car. Now, interesting enough... This was included in the um, bag as well. So this is going to be a charger for that battery. And you see it does have an American plug on there. So they may have done some small updates or at least um, have for when the American audience buys this that it comes with this particular charger. So um, I think the battery packs like a 1500 million. So it'll probably take about an hour, hour and a half or so to charge up if you use this particular wall charger. But um, this is cool that they include this in here, so you don't have to worry about um, the universal, the one that comes, it's got like universal plugs on it, and, it's, and then sometimes they come with one that just has a European plug on it, so that is good that this is included with it, so you can get started right off the bat. So let's take a look at the car real quick, uh, see if we can put this light on, there we go, shine some light on it. So uh, suspension setup doesn't seem too bad, and by the way, this is a 112 scale car. Um, it's not a 110 scale, so uh, suspension setup uh, may be a little bouncy, but that can be something that can be worked with. Um, may need a little bit of oil in the shocks, but I'll see once I do that first test drive. And it does come with a real tire and wheel on the back, and this probably is functional. I could probably use this on the actual car kit. So I believe these are 12, mil 12 millimeter hexes um, that are on here, and... Let's take a look at the front of this. Yeah, it looks like there are LEDs in there. Um, when I first test this sucker out, we are going to see because that's going to be an additive, a big plus. Yeah, there you guys see that. Let's see if we can get this to focus in just a little bit. There we go. 
So this does come with LED lights. So that is going to be cool um, to actually run that, especially running it at night because you not you guys know I do a couple of night videos um, as well. So uh, as far as this setup is concerned, yes, it does have that. So one thing I've been looking at with this particular type or design is one of the weak points on a lot of these cars is going to be in this drive shaft. And it's going to particularly be at this end. I haven't seen it snap too much at this end, but I've seen it snap on this end. I mean, I had the um, the Octane, and that was one of the first things to break on it was this. But with this kit, they've actually included an upgraded uh, version of this, and it's actually metal. So that's a huge plus. So I don't have to worry about when I'm driving this and this thing snapping off and breaking because 30 miles per hour may not seem like a lot, but when you're moving something like this and with these type of tires, even though it is a little bit harder uh, compound, these are kind of an all-purpose, it's going to get a lot of grip once they somewhat wear it. It's going to put a lot of strain and stress back here. And this is one of the first things that I've known to break on particular cars. But this one comes with an upgraded one, so that is a huge plus. Um, you see it does come with Phillips head screws, so that would be the reason why they gave me that particular tool with that. And you guys see there the on-off switch is located underneath the chassis. Uh, right there so and that's fine right there I'm not you know too worried about that and hitting something and that cutting off that kind of rarely happens and if you guys want you can always put like a piece of tape over this and you can push in on the tape to turn this on and off because I've done that before as well um, it's got this aluminum plate here so that's good as well because if you run into something if this didn't have this plate here it's going to take a lot of stress and end up breaking the front part of this chassis so it seems like it's got aluminum bulkheads on it as well. Um, so that's going to help with durability as well. So that's a good thing. So they've pretty much made this thing pretty tough. They know that when you get it, you're probably going to run it and bash it into stuff. So I believe to take this body off, I'm going to have to unscrew a lot of these screws, which I'm not going to do during this unboxing, but I will do it on my um, after run thoughts with this. Um, truck you see this is the battery that comes with it that is something I can pull out <laughs> and show to you guys I can get this body pin out man that's in there <laughs> uh, let's see so the battery is a 1500 milliamp battery and it doesn't it says it let's see what it says here it should be 15 um, go ahead focus in come on I know the light's messing with you. So, um, yeah, there it is at towards the end, 1500 milliamps. So, and that's fine for what we're going to do with this. And it does come with a Dean or T style, I should say, connector on it. So, I can charge this on my regular charger or I can use the, the charger they gave with it as well. So, either or will be fine. Um, so, this should be enough to get this thing up and running. Probably give you about an 8 to 12 minute runtime. We'll go ahead and see how long that runtime um, is on this and let's see if you can possibly fit bigger batteries in here as well a longer battery so I may get another battery or two of this size um, and see I'll see what they have on their side because I did see some of these pretty cheap as well so this would be excellent if a, a kid got this and he just wanted to go out and run you can get him a couple more of these batteries and then he could use the included wall charger and then charge them overnight or whatever and then the next day he could have several packs charged up and then he could basically just run it all day but this car is fast it does go about 30 miles per hour and i will do a test of that to see as well because the videos i saw i was pretty impressed with the speed of it um, i'm really impressed that it has these led lights on it so i'm willing to give that a test too as well so i think right now from what i'm seeing here for the price you pay and it comes pretty quick this would be a, a pretty sweet deal to get, but this is 112 scale. So um, just trying to see if there's anything else I may have missed. Um, it does come with plastic shock bodies, but it does have like an aluminum cap, as you guys can see there. Um, they are adjustable, so there is no, um, let's see, make sure. Yeah, so there is no spaces or anything you put up in there. It does have that close spring adjustment right there. So, and that's going to be front and uh, rear. The front shocks have kind of that lay down suspension for it. So, um, and that's going to be fine uh, for this. So, this seems like it's pretty well put together and pretty well built. So, I can't wait to get this thing out and run it to see 
how this thing performs and how it's going to perform on different terrain as well. Like I said, some of the videos I've seen, it's performed well. Guys have run it. And it seems to be quick, especially for this size. So I know I'm stressing that speed, but I'm interested to see if it goes 25 to 28, that's still good. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like or dislike, subscribe if you have not, and stay tuned for more videos.